Hello, hello, my name is Luis Alvarado and we'll be talking about my content now. So on my content, I want to open all this because I need to explain something specific about this uh, section in regards to SEO and editing multiple pages. So when you want to uh, edit specific pages, it's very important for you to know that uh, on the BD platform, on the brand directories platform, there's two types of pages. You have what's called the static pages, which are these ones. That's why it says here, create and manage individual static web pages. Okay. And then you have the dynamic pages, which are the SEO templates. I'll explain a quick way of finding out which one's which. So right now on the... Um, on the my content if you click my content my members leads etc it will always take you to the first one uh, that it finds on the list here okay so like if i click on uh, i'm gonna click on my content here again and it's opening and it's opening this page again see so okay so let's say that you want to edit a specific page and that specific page is actually found here so for example the join the login page, the home, the about, the about contact, uh, categories, etc. So you go, you let's click on the home page, you edit that one, okay, and you are able to customize some of the things here and add some elements and etc. and whatnot. They're typically used most of the time, people go to the static pages to edit their SEO settings, to customize it to their their niche and, and target audience okay so you you gotta once you're on the page you click on seo settings and you can play around with this one okay you can also add some extra information extra libraries there on the footer javascript head css customizations etc etc or you can create your own page by uh for example dragging stuff here and customizing it to your liking now if you want to and this only applies to this specific special static page, which is the home page. If you if the customizations that you did here, you want to show them on the home page, and it's only for this page, you need to go to settings, design settings. Okay, and then on the home page, on the home page, there's something called the enable additional sections. They set up totally different thing, like a month back or something. But uh, it has some settings, you know, some options that you can play around with. But it, then it has this section one, two, three, and so on. Here, you decide if you want to show that customization that you did in the static page for the home. That's this option here: custom home page content. So, um, right now it had. The, the the home page hero divider i believe let me just refresh this because i went crazy there yeah okay so right now the home page is looking like this but let's say let's say that i go here and i customize something i just add i don't know um a section title here and i say section you title something like that okay section 22 title and i add a, a line break okay and then i add, i don't know something here blah 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 this i save it just making quick conversation here um and then if i go to the home page and i refresh it doesn't show those changes what's happening why is it not showing those changes so you go to the home page. I'm going to start closing tabs here. I got like 3,000 tabs open now. You go to this section and you save it as custom home page content. It could be this one, whichever you want. It's basically the order in which the elements, the sections will show on the site. So you got streaming members second, streaming top categories, the job offer, yeah, the join offer, sorry, articles and whatnot. If I scroll down, you see newest members the categories join now and if uh, there were any article 
it will show that one. Okay. So now that I've saved this, if I refresh this page, it shows that section, that area now. Okay, the custom, the custom one that I did. Let me put it back. On page here, divider. Let me remove all that that I just did here. Okay, save it. And voila. I refresh here, and we got it back to, to what it was before. Um, so that's a very important thing that you need to be in the in, that you actually need to know about the home page in the static area for the pages. So only the, the home page can actually um, do that. And it's the only one that has the ability to, to do this here um, through that option in the design settings. Then the other ones, uh, you know, you got a login page and you'll start seeing things like this. So this is a widget. Every time you see a widget here, you can always find that widget if you go to Toolbox, Widget Manager. Like, let's copy part of the name. You don't have to copy the whole thing, just part of the name. So I got a Toolbox Widget Manager. Okay, and it has this search here at the top. I do a search there, and voila, I get that widget. And if I were to customize that widget, that will effectively change stuff here. Okay. Now, some widgets, like in that particular one, some widgets actually call a form. If you see that a widget is calling a form by the, you know, form equals something, something, then here in the toolbox, you can go to the form manager and you can edit that form. Okay. So many times, for example, that login uh, widget is calling this form here remember login and you can see here that it has many widget i mean many many fields these are the fields you got email address you got password you got something that says um uh, forgot your password click here if we actually go to a login page you can see email field password forgot your password click here so you got the, the whole form in there okay um this is just to give you an idea of things that you can find in the static pages when you're trying to edit them, because it could be that, or it could be like the how it works, which is the text that shows here. So how it works, if we go to the about page, and you see the lady there, how it works, the search local businesses and blah, blah, blah. And we can say search all, let me save it. If we actually go to the page and refresh it here, we see search all local businesses and, and whatnot. So this is how you you have basically two ways of editing a static page. Either, either directly, like the how it works uh, case, maybe even in terms of use, privacy policy, um, you know, because they have the text here. And there's indirect ways, which are used like pricing page, um, the, the, well, the contact us page too, they get match. They call forms, they call widgets. Like in this case, you can see a widget. Um, because those codes that are found in these pages are more complex. That's the only, that's the main reason why you don't see them here on this text editor, because the text editor can't handle uh, language like PHP or more complex uh, decision making in regards to the logic of how that page would work. So those are the two cases you would see once you start editing this here. And that's why I was pointing to the widget manager or the form manager, or in other cases, even the menu manager, where you can change uh, the main menu. Here you can see home, members, events, and so on. If you go to the main menu, you can see something that says header main menu. If I click here, remember it says home, members, events, and so on. If I go there, you can see home, members, events, and the rest. And you can say which ones are subs, sub elements, sub menus of those, and where they point to. So if I go here, you can see the same 
concept same idea if i click there it takes me to those pages okay so that's the static pages now we move to what's called the posts so the posts basically the, the actual posts that members or even you as the admin create they're found here all posts so you can go to the manage posts over over the select post type and you can see all the different posts and even custom ones uh, that show here okay so here you can unpublish something publish something edit that specific post editing a post actually logs in you in to that member and it takes you directly to that post you can edit it out uh then you oh you can delete that one too and you can do other stuff with all the posts so all the posts are found here you can filter by uh if they're published or not published you can filter by the member you can filter by something in the title etc 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 then we have the post settings these are what's called the features your actual features of the site so here for example they have they duplicated this this sometimes happens uh this is wrong so if you if you have two features with the same url and my recommendation is and they're going to stay like that don't don't do it just delete one of those to avoid issues with the with the system you can actually see here that there's another one that's pointed to to blog so that 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 will create confusion with the system so let's delete that that one too why does bd give you that flexibility because it's up to you like i was saying it's like spider-man with great power comes great responsibility same thing here with great flexibility about the platform comes knowing about it and the things that you gotta uh, be careful with okay so here are all the features that the platform has by default but you can add more by the way uh, custom and more enhanced versions of the features and you decide which ones the members will have in their membership plan so here are all the features that a member can have but depending on the membership plan that they join could be a free one pay one or an upgrade to one that's already paid etc etc they get more features enabled and even they can create more posts so for example the free one a free membership plan could give you one article or two or ten but the paid one gives you a hundred or a thousand so that that's some of the ideas all this all these features have three uh, parts that you can play around with you have the profile page for them this basically applies for uh, members and some parts of the of the feature and then you have the more detailed ones which are for search results so these are the search results and um, code so when you see a member when you see a search result for articles jobs etc etc and on the on the actual search results page this is the code that's being executed there and here's where you come and edit that out now when they're not in the search results when they're in the actual post reading the full post it will be this one the detail page design so here's where they they would see that information and and whatnot okay so that's the uh, post settings basically the, the features uh if you go to the seo templates i was making sure that you remember that the the, the first one was static pages because these are the dynamic pages dynamic because they change depending on the information that's being served so for example this one this dynamic page handles members so if i were to edit this one out for seo purposes basically uh whatever i do here would apply for all members so it's not one page i'm actually changing something for multiple pages okay that's what the seo templates are for so uh for example here you have the search results page okay beautiful but then you got another type of search results page which is main category only subcategory only main and subcategory country only and so on these were optimized 
um, a couple of years back for SEO related purposes. Um, but yeah, you if you need to change your SEO here, you can go directly to any of the SEO templates there. That's that applies to that specific page. So for example, here you get an idea of what page is that. So we have morehair.com slash this name of the state, the name of the city. So it could be uh, Texas, Houston, Texas, Dallas, or uh, California, uh, Los Angeles, so some, something like that. All those pages are actually managed by this specific SEO template. So if you change this here, it changes for all those specific pages. Lastly, we got the media manager. So on the media manager, you're able to upload images or PDFs. Uh, images could be, um, if I'm not um, mistaken, could be JPEG, PNG, and a GIF. I think GIF also so it's supported there. Um, and you can just, you know, you can see them here, delete, whatnot, okay? And that's it. They get uploaded to the images folder, just in case. Uh, if you're a developer, you need to know that it's slash images slash whatever the name of the image is. For uh, business owners, I always highly recommend not uploading images with spaces, with special characters, is to avoid developers having to deal with issues that are caused by that, or Google having to guess even more about what uh, an image or uh, content related to a page is for, through, in this case, through the image. They actually use something called EXIF. So they're able to analyze an image. Um, so try to upload them in, in lowercase. Try to do use dashes or underscore. Don't use don't use parentheses. Don't use uh, question marks. Don't use exclamation marks. Don't use don't use special. Those are called special characters. Okay. So try because that will simplify the the work for developers. The timing, even the cost, maybe. Um, and will help SEO in the long run. So all this ones here are awesome. Awesome. They're very good. This one, not so much. Um, so yeah, that's my content, basically. So think positive, and we'll continue um, with other sections here once I've uh, got approval from an owner so I can do a video with them. With that said, think positive and big hugs.